The Desert Scorpions just got a new look. <laughs> Welcome back, Hobby Maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com. Today, we're taking a look at one of the latest new releases from Victoria Miniatures, the Lady Desert Scorpions, um, which is a great version of her Desert Scorpion, so basically a new design. And let me tell you what, uh, this is also one of the first kits that comes in both uh, part of, uh, 3D printed, but also part resin as well, which I'm kind of on the fence about. I wanna get these in my hot little hands and take a look at them. Uh, all the pictures look great online, but anything can look good in a picture until you actually get it in your hands, right? So I'm really excited to kind of take a look at this. But of course, you know, Victoria, or her sculpts are, are amazing. And she has a whole bunch of them over there. And not only do they look great for um, any of your guard regiments, if you want to make them look a little bit different, but then also she, a lot of her a lot of her sculpts are female sculpts versions of her new designs too, which is really incredible because not only can you make your stuff look different from everyone else's and mix and match parts and bits and create stuff that she doesn't even offer in a kit, but you can also have a lot more diversity in there as well with uh, the female ranges too, which is re really neat to see. Not something anybody really offers at, at this this level out, out there. So. So it's really cool to see and I always like uh, getting these miniatures in here and talking about um, everything that she's got going on over there because there's there's just so many good things going on. And she sent us a boatload of these to take a look at and build and, and give out to all our patrons so I can't wait to do that as well. Also, uh, please forgive the glasses. My old people eyes are betraying me and I need to kind of block out some of the blue light here in the studio. But moving forward, let's take a look at her website. Okay, so here it is, victoriaminiatures.com. Uh, great, great looking website. It resizes great mobile or, or desktop, depending on what you're uh, viewing it on. Unfortunately, I uh, can't get it to all fit in this window here because of that uh, awesome functionality. Anyways, so you can see here on her banner, she has a picture of the new Desert Scorpions as well. There's uh, both a five man or five person squad, I guess, or, <laughs> or a 10 person squad. Uh, in this uh, set here, and you can see the male uh, Desert Scorpions, and then she has the uh, heavy weapon upgrade crews, so you can buy those heavy weapons and then also have the option to have these miniatures in here um, and have lots of different options. You know, she's got great looking tanks as well, and I don't know if she has any crew. Oh yeah, uh, no, I guess there, I guess there isn't any crew yet, unfortunately. But she does have all, all this stuff here, and also heads for the uh, desert ogres as well, which was kind of cool. I forgot about that. And then of course, uh, miniature of the month. I think this is on miniature of the month still. The desert scorpion, uh, Captain Laura. So if you buy at least a uh, fifty dollars, which I guess this would qualify right here, uh, you're gonna get a free miniature of the month as well. So you can get. 11 lady desert scorpions <laughs> including their leader um and any orders over a hundred dollars you get free shipping too which is which is kind of cool now everything is shipping out of the u.s now and you'll see um it probably says made in the u.s on this uh, it, she she may keep doing that she may not she wasn't sure but um i think if you're here in the states canada uh, UK, it might be quicker to get to UK instead of out of Australia. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. I don't know what that kind of timetable is like. I imagine either way, it's, it's long. So, but here's the kit itself. It's going to come with uh, ten of the new figures at fifty nine and ninety nine. Now, you know, a lot of times we like to talk about value. And we like to talk about, you know, um, more getting more for your hobby dollars. You know, when when you purchase anything, and I think, you know, you can look at this and you can be like, well, yeah, you know, uh, it, it's more than a plastic kit. It's less than a forge roll kit, but they don't really offer anything like this from forge roll. I think the value in this is that it makes your your regiments, your squads, your armies look a little different. It's something different. It's not too ridiculously like over the over the top expensive for something for a boutique miniature, which I kind of feel like I, I kind of feel like it's the Goldilocks of, of miniatures out there. It's not the value isn't in its price. The value is in the the difference that it provides for the hobbyist, right? So I'm not mad about the price at all. I think I think I think the price is right on. I think it's I think it's right dialed in. Six bucks a figure. I don't think you can be mad about that for boutique custom um, resin miniatures. And now you know instead of raising prices going into the future, she's doing this amalgam kind of 3D um, design, uh, 3D print for the weapons. And I'm going to show you that here in a second. So here's the contents of everything in here. You're going to get six different torsos, uh, both uh, heads. Uh, with heads A and heads B. Oh, so you actually get extra of the torsos, but you don't. You only get 10 sets of legs. So I don't know what the math is on. Uh, I'm buying extra sets of legs, but I guess if you bought six of these 
three of these kits? Six, I don't know. Math is in, uh, isn't in my head right now. Uh, but there are options to do that so you can get extra legs too, I suppose, if you really want to and uh, make some extra figures. Or round canteens, curved daggers. All of these are available separately as separate bits on her site. Um, the backpacks, those are new, I think. They're 3D print. The universal rolled sleeve rifle arms for females. Uh, rolled and rifle arms and a special weapon sprue, which uh, has that heavy heavy weapons uh, special. I think there's a sniper rifle on there too, which is pretty cool. We'll take a look at that in here in a second. And then here's some of the poses that you can put together here. I kind of like that one, of course. And then you've got, um, she's got the plasma looking thing right here, which is neat. And then here's the actual breakdown of what comes in the set. So you're gonna get six torsos, 10 legs, all the extra bits right here, and then the 3D printed bits, which are new. And I'm still on the fence about this, I'm not exactly sure, but I know stuff, these small uh, barrels and stuff, like when I bought my Death Corpsman from Forge World, a lot of those snapped. And, you know, I have a lot of Death Corpsmen running around with carbines instead of actual rifles because, you know, the barrel snapped off. So I'm not mad about this as long as it's got some pretty high strength and, I'm, you know, not going to snap it off just in a stiff breeze or something like that. And then here's the special weapons, which you can uh, see right down here. There's a flamer variant, a melta variant, a plasma variant. I can't tell. It's a grenade launcher and the uh, heavy sniper rifle with a bipod, which is pretty cool. And then some sergeant upgrades, some different sorts of knives. Being from Australia, you got to have knives, right? <laughs> you call that a knife? <laughs> My worst accent ever. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty cool looking kit. The big question is, how do these prints look? So new manufacturing coming out of the States here. This is what the packaging looks like. Now I'm not sure how uh, consumer packaging comes, but this is how I got uh, the sets that she sent me. I imagine it's something very similar in a box or, or something like that. It's not really set up for retail packaging at this point. So you're gonna see the resin bits um, in here. Those are pretty obvious to see. Well, we're gonna open this up here in a second. And then you're gonna see a whole bunch of black uh, parts here. No, those aren't primer. Those are the 3D uh, printed bits right there and of course printed in the USA or, or I suppose made in the USA either way <laughs> same same right so here's the contents and let's take a look at some of the resin and there you can see resin is super crisp detail looks great I really like these very dynamic are these the same no these are the two different sets oh I like the goggles so there's one set looks like with all goggles and one face mask and then these here are all face masks with the goggles up top in the helmet and they got they got some cool pouches and things these are let's zoom in a little bit more on this these are pretty cool looking like i really like the look of these yeah there we go definitely a lot easier to see now or maybe it's just my old people eyes and you could see them a minute ago but i'm really liking the crisp details on all this uh you are going to have to do a little bit of cleanup as you can see right there but that's pretty much normal i imagine most most hobbyists are used to that sort of thing here's uh the leg sets and i'm actually not sure if these are identical these, yeah, these are identical. So two different six uh, sets of six legs. Yep, same part number. So this is where I was saying you only get the, or excuse me, the five legs, but you get the six torso. So you can kind of mix and match and, and choose uh, what you want to use as far as the torsos go and get some unique poses. But remember, they sell these separate too. So you can buy a set of five legs and then have extra torsos, maybe depending on how many sets you're going to get. And you know, kind of uh, math it out there, because I think you get, I think you get some extra sergeant weapons here, which would be oh, lost the canteen. So there's the canteens and the combat knives, which look great and obviously very, uh, very stylish when it comes to being a part of that. Now I'm not even going to look at this other stuff because this is this is basically the these two sets of bits right here. Oh, and of course there's slot of bases too. So when you cut these off. Um, uh, you you just put them in a slot of base. Now a little a little bit of hobby hack here. If you have problems with that, just take some blue tack, kind of smush it on here, something like that. And then what happens is that's going to actually give it strength up. So when you're actually coming in and cutting with your snips, you just want to cut like that, and you're going to get a nice clean cut right across there. And it isn't going to shatter this, so you can't don't have the slot of base or the slot of part to actually put it into the base. Um, so that's why I always keep a little bit of blue tack laying around so that if I need to snip off a small part, it doesn't go and, you know, fly across the room, never to be found again. So back to the 3D parts, there's a lot of little pouches with individual parts, like some arms. There's the heavy weapons. I don't care about none of that. You know why? Because we're going to build, we're going to build a couple of these and show it to you. But what I really care about looking at right now is the 3D printed stuff that's going to be long and 
particularly susceptible to curling or any other uh, forces out there. Now, there's a lot that can be said for these 3D prints. I'm already taking a look. I'm already diving in and taking a look at it. So you can definitely tell the 3D prints. You're going to have to do a little bit of cleanup here. Now, you can soak these in um, uh, hot water to, you know, you want to keep it less than 150 degrees or so, give or take, for about two or three minutes. Uh, hot to the touch water and then the little supports will just plop right off but these are so small and fiddly i imagine normally i wouldn't advise this because it'll has more of a likelihood to shatter your part but these are so small and this resin is actually pretty strong that yeah i think you can just go in there and snip these off so i don't think you have to do any extra of that handling that you would normally do if you got like uh, larger pieces on supports more traditional kind of style these are these are very uh it looks like these are all done by hand for manufacturing and you can see a little bit of uh smooth parts right there or a little bit of smooth bits so all that is is a little bit of um the mix of resin in there and sometimes a little bit of isopropyl won't uh, won't burn off and won't cure but it looks like for the most part that this is cured. It's not feeling, there's no liquid here or anything like that. So there was a little bit of isopropyl alcohol on there that I guess they dunk them with and it it definitely uh, dried off. So these are definitely safe to the touch and been cured. Um, so once all those pop off, it looks good. But I tell you what, like the big thing I was worried about was these breaking and these are pretty strong. They're, they're holding, they're holding very strong. So I don't, I ain't mad at these being 3D printed at all, to be quite honest, because I know she 3D prints her masters and then does resin casts of them. So it only makes sense. You actually lose, you're like, ah, you know, you might see some minuscule little 3D uh, print parts right there or print lines, which you can, but here's the bigger thing. She 3D prints this stuff too for the masters and then cast these. So these are actually a one, you know, a one down the line removed print right but if you think about it these are only printed once so you're actually going to have in theory one nanometer or one micron of detail more on these being a print than actually your your resin cast but your resin casts are going to be great and they're super easy to crank out and you can do a whole bunch of these so there's something to be said for each material being used for each one here now these are super small don't take up a lot of space very easy to print and then these are larger you know kind of chunkier and you have to glue everything to it and you know builds off your whole thing so i kind of get why they're doing that i want to look at the backpacks too uh so same deal here there's a little bit see there are different resin or something i don't know what that is but let's take a look I think it's just a little bit of resin residue. I can't tell what that is, but everything else looks good on here. It might just be some dried isopropyl. It's definitely dried to the touch. The back's looking good. Huh, pretty cool. So definitely very strong. Let's see how strong are these. Ooh, I'm definitely pushing on that. It's not breaking off. So I'm liking that so far. So these three 3D prints, so so far, <laughs> are uh, are definitely a home run in my book. Okay, so we got it together, and you can see here it looks a little different. Doesn't look like the pictures on the site because you got the 3D printed parts and uh, the resin right here, but. The detail level is pretty much exactly the same. I mean, you can see it doesn't look, one doesn't look more detailed than the other or anything like that. And they go together, you know, they fit. The scale is, you know, perfect and everything like that. It got some great looking posing right there. Very, very cool stuff. Uh, now this red, or the, excuse me, this, well, it is resin, but this 3D print here uh, actually, you know, doesn't need to be primed normally. Now I would, I would still wash it just in case, because it's gonna have residue of isopropyl, maybe some residue, just resin in general. It's probably good to get it off there. And then you are probably gonna to wanna to prime it in general because you know this resin here needs a primer too. So once you prime it, it should all still be, I can already tell this is this is good to go. This is not gonna have any problems with primer sticking to it or anything like that. And I think this is a very good looking pose You know, with those uh, backpacks, it's just a right scale. Everything looks like it flows uh, pretty well on. That's definitely something you expect to see on somebody like, uh, you know, in the desert, I would imagine some sort of uh, uh, survival gear or something very akin to what you saw in the desert stormtroopers, I suppose, uh, from Star Wars. So very, very, very cool looking stuff. Now there's a bunch of different poses um, and a lot of different variants you can make. And there's some uh, like this one here is holding. Oh, no, it's just 
straight out, just didn't assemble it right. But uh, I like the little goggles. Let's see if we can find a couple of these here. Oh, here's a grenade hand. That's the, that's the grenade hand right there. So there's a, there's one holding a grenade, and got the cool looking blade right there, and the goggles. I think it's pretty neat. And then there's a, more of a power sword type blade. Uh, there's a chain sword too, which is pretty neat. And there's a, a last pistol and a couple other poses here so you know you can really have fun and even if you get you know say 50 or 60 of these there's going to be enough variance between the poses and the weapons that you won't have them all uh, you know pretty much looking the same which is kind of cool and then here's how they compare to a death corpsman so you know if they're ladies they're going to be a little bit smaller than than a man when it comes to the actual sculpt i mean that's just that's just physics i suppose you generally see that uh you know portrayed pretty well in uh, miniatures across the board. So the scaling definitely holds up right there to the, to the uh, 28 millimeter. And then when it comes to Space Marines, well, to give you an idea of how that's gonna stack up to like a Primaris Marine, well, <laughs> that's about what we expected, I suppose. <laughs> so uh, very, very cool kit overall. I'm definitely I'm definitely digging the, the new style of uh, the 3D print and the resin, especially if it saves costs and still gives a superior product you know, to uh, the consumer, you know, why not? Why not save a little bit of cost and give back a little bit of uh, value to everybody all the way around there? So cool, uh, cool new stuff on the way from Victoria Ministers. These are up for sale right now over at VictoriaMinsters.com. So if you're in the states, Canada, or the UK, you'll probably see it a little bit sooner. Uh, in Australia, you'll probably see it a little bit later than you used to because it's going to ship out of here to the states. But I think mail, for the most part, is. Uh, starting to get back on track so i don't imagine only a couple week uh, delay there hopefully going forward so that is it for this one make sure you check out uh, all these great miniatures over at victoriaminiatures.com uh, and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all our videos